Mums, have you ever wondered how to care for your newborn's hair? Or maybe you're thinking, is it even too early to start with a newborn regime? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through my 10 newborn natural hair care tips for growth and retention. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Novella from Naturally Crowned. For all your kids' natural hair tips, advice, and tutorials, you're in the right place. If you're new here, you know what I'm gonna say, consider subscribing. And if you've already subscribed, I just wanna say thank you so much for sticking with me. Okay guys, so before I actually get into my 10 top tips for newborn hair care, I just wanna talk you through why you should even have a regime for your newborn. So when I refer to a newborn, I'm talking about from zero to two months old. When it comes to having a newborn regime, it's never ever too early to start. Actually, the earlier you start, the better. And you're probably wondering why it's so important. And the reason is starting early actually sets the foundation for healthy hair from now and beyond. Starting early will also get your baby used to you doing their hair and they'll also get used to having a routine. Eventually, you doing their hair is going to be like you brushing their teeth when they're older, giving them a bath. It's just going to be a part of their, you know, daily, weekly or monthly routine. And it's going to come to a point where when you're doing their hair, it's not going to be a problem for them, especially if what you're doing is not causing any pain. They're really going to get used to you doing their hair. I give an example with my daughter. I started her newborn hair care regime from the moment we got home from the hospital. Now I was very intentional with her regime. I would make sure that I would always kind of give her like head massages, um, just get her used to my hands in her hair. Uh, like I said, I had a regime for her in place. So by the time she got to an infant and the toddler stages, she was so used to having this regime in place that she just doesn't know anything other than having a regime in place. She's so used to me doing her hair at this stage. Like I said, it's just like her brushing her teeth. Well, me brushing her teeth or me giving her a bath. It's just part of her life now. And that's all she knows. So now me doing her hair, she has no issues with it at all. And that's because I set the foundation from early. The other thing is having a newborn regime in place will help you as their mum to become consistent. You're also going to get used to doing your newborn's hair. Okay. So tip number one is you don't want to have a complicated regime in place for your newborn. And also you you don't want to be using too many products on your newborn's hair at this stage. At this stage, you want to keep their products very minimal and very simple. This is a stage where it's the easiest out of all the stages. So really enjoy this stage. So tip number two, you want to wash your newborn's hair weekly. You don't want to wash their hair daily or twice a day and nothing like that at all. Stick to washing their hair once a week. This will help their hair to stay hydrated and moisturized at the same time. Washing their hair too often will cause their scalp to dry out and also dry out their hair and you really don't want that to happen. Also, with regards to washing their hair, you wanna use a non-sulfate shampoo to wash their hair. This is very important because with a sulfate shampoo, it's gonna dry out their hair. Another thing is I would avoid using any shampoo that's made for head to toe. Now the shampoos I'm talking about if you're aware of them, for example, Aveeno, head to toe, Johnson & Johnson, head to toe. The reason I'm saying this is great for the body, but it's not really made for our hair type. So I would avoid using any of those shampoos or body washes for your newborn's hair. Also, there is an alternative. I know some mothers don't like to use shampoo at all and they just like to rinse their newborn's hair with water. If that's something you want or you like to do, definitely do that. But if you do like to use a shampoo, I would recommend using a non-sulfate shampoo. 
So tip number three, moisturizing your newborn's hair. That is so, so important, mums. And sometimes with a newborn, you may look at their hair. At this stage, your newborn's hair is gonna be silky and shiny. And you're gonna be thinking, there's probably no need to really moisturize my newborn's hair because it looks shiny, it looks silky, it's curly. But don't be mistaken, at this stage, their hair needs moisture just as much as it would at any other stage. So I'll definitely encourage you to still moisturize your baby's hair and when you're moisturizing your baby's hair you don't want to use any form of grease anything that contains mineral oil petroleum journey and stay away from any kind of products at this stage at this stage you want to keep it very very simple and i would say use some oils or some butters this will also depend on your newborn's density so if you're newborn has high density hair so a lot of hair then you want to maybe use a thicker butter or thicker oil if they have very low density hair so not so much hair on their head then you want to use a lighter oil or a lighter butter in that case so at this stage the newborn stage i would advise using the l o method so that's the liquid so your water and then your oil those are the only things I would recommend using at this stage. As I mentioned in my tip number one, you want to keep it very simple, very minimal, and you don't want to use too many products on your newborn's hair at this stage. Okay, so my tip number four, you want to pay very close attention to your newborn's hair. If you find that your newborn's hair is not reacting very well to a particular oil that you're using, please do change and try a different oil. I'm gonna give an example. So with my son, when he was a newborn, I used coconut oil on his hair. And for him, his hair really did not like coconut oil. He would get like flakes on his scalp. So when I switched over to argan oil, his hair really loved argan oil and that worked much better. So make sure that you're keeping an eye on what you're using on your child's hair. And if it's not working, it's always okay to switch it up. Tip number five, you wanna keep it very, very simple with your newborn's hairstyling. At this stage, the newborn stage, you don't even wanna do any hairstyles. You wanna leave your newborn's hair as it is. If there's gonna come a time where you're gonna be styling your child's hair a lot, you're probably even gonna be fed up of styling their hair at one point. So I would say at the newborn stage, keep it very, very simple. Trying to tighten any kind of tight styles is really gonna you know, pull on their sensitive scalps and their hair and you really don't want to, you really don't wanna do this because this is gonna cause a lot of breakage and a lot of pain for your newborn. I would actually wait until your baby is about five or six months old before you start experimenting with loose styles or so no tight styles even at that stage. So tip number six is to be very gentle with your newborn's hair and their scalp. So when you're detangling or combing your newborn's hair, you wanna make sure that starting from the ends and working your way up to the roots and you wanna be very, very gentle. You don't wanna cause your newborn any pain. Um, so be very, very gentle and detangle or comb from the ends, working your way up into the roots. And also, when you're washing your newborn's hair, you want to use the pads of your fingers. You don't want to use your nails when you're washing your baby's hair. So at this stage, you still want to be very gentle using the pads of your fingers just to massage their scalp, but you don't want to use your nails. Their scalp is very, very sensitive and you don't wanna do anything that's gonna you know, cause any damage or cause any pain to your newborn. So tip number seven, you don't wanna use any towels after you've washed your newborn's hair when it's time to dry their hair. You wanna use a t-shirt or a microfiber towel to dry their hair. This is gonna prevent any kind of frizz and it's also gonna prevent any kind of breakage as well. Tip number eight, you don't wanna detangle or comb through your newborn's hair when it's dry and not moisturized. Whenever you wanna comb through your newborn's hair or detangle your newborn's hair, make sure that your newborn's hair is moisturized and not when your newborn's hair is dry. This is gonna avoid any kind of breakage and also any pulling on their hair and causing your newborn any form of pain. So always comb through your newborn's hair when it's moisturized and also possibly on wash day. Once you finish washing your newborn's hair and you've moisturized it, you can then comb or detangle your newborn's hair. Another point to remember is you don't wanna be over manipulating your newborn's hair. So I would advise you to only detangle or comb through your 
your newborn's hair when it's moisturized preferably on wash days but if you do want to detangle or comb through your newborn's hair any other time um, apart from wash day definitely make sure that it is well moisturized before you do so so tip number nine is to give your newborn head massages yes head massages now newborns love head massages the fact that they love it is great but it also stimulates blood flow and encourages growth so definitely do this the perfect time to do this is on wash days while you're washing your newborn's hair give them a scalp massage then or possibly when you are moisturizing your newborn's hair and applying oil to their scalp for example you can use the pads of your fingers to massage their scalp like i said it encourages blood flow and also stimulates growth so my 10th and final tip is to use a satin fitted sheet in their cot or a moses basket or a satin pillowcase that's going to help to avoid any friction from the cotton sheet it's going to avoid any moisture loss so usually with the cotton sheets newborns and babies lose a lot of moisture because the cotton sheets actually suck the moisture from their hair well it absorbs the moisture from their hair leaving the hair very dry which will be prone to breakage balding um, and you don't really want that to happen okay guys so that's my top 10 tips for newborn natural hair care if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share with anyone you feel may benefit from watching this video so guys i'm gonna love and leave you and i'll see you next week tuesday take care bye